Welcome everybody to a brand new Angular tip. My name is Kevin, I'm a Google developer expert in Angular and web technologies, and today I want to talk to you about Angular's view encapsulation. Currently, Angular offers three kinds of view encapsulation, none, emulated, and shadow DOM. None is probably the least interesting because right, it just disables encapsulation completely. But what is actually the difference between shadow DOM and Angular's emulated shadow DOM? Let's find out. Let's imagine we have a simple Hello World component. This Hello World component displays an H1 tag with a Hello World text and additionally accepts any content which can be projected. Our component will also add a left margin of 50 pixels to all H2 tags. Additionally, we also added some global styles in our style CSS to display all H1 tags on our page in an italic font style. If we use this component and project an H2 element with a text Angular rocks, our app component would look like this. Our H1 is italic, but our H2 doesn't have any styles. So how come? Well, by default, the Hello World component uses Angular's emulated Shadow DOM implementation. So what does that mean exactly? To find out, let's open up the DevTools to inspect the DOM of our running application. We see that Angular modified our DOM and our CSS selector. Our div now contains a ng-content-soy-c47 attribute. And our CSS selector as well got updated with that ng-content-soy-c47 attribute. Those attributes are important because they are added by Angular when you use emulated shadow DOM and they are the reason that our styles don't leak out. But why are the H2 styles not applied? The attribute added by Angular to the H1 tag differs from the one Angular added to the H2 tag. The styles for H2 got modified from H2 to H2 ng-content minus soy minus c48, but our H2 element CSS selector targets all elements that contain the ng-content minus soy c47 attribute. So our selector doesn't match the projected h2 content. And this makes sense since the projected h2 technically belongs to the parent and therefore gets the content attribute from the parent, which is c48. Now, what happens if we change the encapsulation to shadow DOM? To change to native shadow DOM, we can add an encapsulation property and set its value to view encapsulation shadow DOM. With the native shadow DOM, the Angular attributes that prevented us from styling the projected H2 content are gone. Instead, we now get a shadow root and a style tag that contains our styles. And voila, the projected H2 content now has a left margin of 50 pixels. Awesome, right? But hold on, what happened to our H1 tag? It's supposed to be italic. Well, here's a big difference when you use native shadow DOM versus emulated shadow DOM. When using native shadow DOM, you cannot use global styles. So let's summarize the differences and the similarities between Angular's emulated shadow DOM and native shadow DOM. Both are fantastic concepts because they enable us to write scoped styles that don't leak out and impact the rest of our application. With Angular's emulated shadow DOM, your styles are scoped and your component can still consume global styles. However, you can't apply styles to the projected content. With native shadow DOM, on the other hand, your styles are also scoped, but your component cannot consume global styles. However, you can apply styles to the projected content. So if you like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to not miss any future Angular tips.